how long does it take to get from the Ovation area to Disney? So let's try it out. So downtown Winter Garden has changed a ton. Million dollar townhomes going in. Pop Stroke is gonna come. This is gonna be packed and busy. The new Exchange Building, Hangry Bison, Pizza Plate, Foxtail Coffee, Kelly's Ice Cream. And the new hotel is going in across the street. Winter Garden, Florida is one of the fastest growing communities in the entire country, and it's huge. We've done multiple videos kind of breaking up Winter Garden because it's so big. But today I thought I'd put together a cohesive video that showed you sort of the whole span of Winter Garden, why people decide to live in different areas, and even if you don't want to move here, why you might want to spend some time in Winter Garden, Florida. So Winter Garden, Florida is huge. It's three zip codes with 34787 being the largest one. And if you look on the map, Oakland Park is up on the top north there, all the way down through Horizon West. That's probably a 30 to 35 minute drive. And so while it looks pretty small on a map, it's quite spread out. And so let's dive into sort of the different areas here in Winter Garden. So downtown Winter Garden has changed a ton even since our last video. Behind me is the new Exchange Building. There's the Hangry Bison, there's a new pizza place, there's a new Foxtail Coffee with Kelly's Ice Cream, new office space above, and the new hotel is going in across the street and then just beyond that, 30 Park, which are like million dollar townhomes going in. So this whole strip down Plant Street Market is gonna be pretty fantastic. But what if you're looking to buy a house here? What's something like that look like? Let's talk about lifestyle and living in downtown Winter Garden. You've got a lot of different options from some of the older houses that are right off here where you can have like a golf cart right over to your house. But if you're looking for something new construction, you're maybe five minutes up to Oakland Park, which is a gorgeous neighborhood, kind of reminiscent of Baldwin Park and Celebration, very similar builder styles over there. You also have Stan Estates that was built out by Jones Homes. You've got J&J &J Custom Homes that are building a small enclave up and down here. But if you want something with a little bit more history, a little bit more culture, of like a mid-modern century home, there's a ton of houses within this 10 block radius that you might look at to either remodel or look for somebody that maybe has recently flipped it. So this whole community is getting really cool for real estate styles and probably has something you're into. What if you want to visit downtown Winter Garden? Like, what is there to do? Well, on the weekends, there's a fantastic farmer's market, which is actually rated one of the top in the country. There's hundreds of different vendors that come out, which are fantastic. You've got Plant Street Market down in the end with Crooked Can Brewery, tons of different artisans there. There's a lot more restaurants down here than there ever has been. And so, whether you're into biking, like on the West Orange Trail, it's like 25 miles long. Eventually, that'll go all the way up to Mount Dora through Claremont, downtown Winter Garden. So there's a lot of cool stuff to do in this sort of idyllic, old, tiny feeling downtown Winter Garden with a lot of the newer amenities that you're looking for. So the cool thing leaving downtown Winter Garden is it's actually going to be elongated pretty quickly here. You've got Dillard that's gonna be approved and they're gonna put a median down there, start redeveloping that. And then down Plant Street towards 429, they've got a $20 million redevelopment in place right now that's gonna be happening over the next two years. So downtown Winter Garden already, it's fantastic, but over the years to come, as it gets even bigger and better, it'll be a lot of fun to hang out and just maybe be a part of the community. So let's do this, let's go from downtown Winter Garden uh, down Dillard over to like the Winter Garden Village area. If you're looking to shop and you're looking for literally anything from Target to Lowe's, let's go check it out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're here in Winter Garden Village, which is right between downtown Winter Garden and Horizon West and Hamlin. And the reason why I stopped here is because there's over 150 shops here. There's Target, Lowe's, there's places to eat around here, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, like kind of everything you would need in your day-to-day -day life. 
Windermere is only 10 minutes away over to our east, and really a lot of the people that live in the Winter Garden area use this as a hub for their day-to-day -day activities. And so I think this is a great spot to live, and whether you're downtown or in that Horizon West area, an amazing amenity for day-to-day -day life. So right around Winter Garden Village, you've got a lot of really nice neighborhoods that are established in that area as well. And so you've got the Stony Brook West area, which is like a golf community. They've got a pool, tennis courts, all that kind of stuff. Um, they're a little bit older, right? They've been, they were built in like the late 90s to the mid 2000s. So many of them need a little bit of updating, but if you're looking for gated in that area, that could be an option for you. There's a lot of other little pocket neighborhoods right around there as well. And so it's a good connector to the Hamlin area, which is where we're going next, right down the 429. So this is where Pop Stroke is gonna come, which is Tiger Woods, like, I think Top Golf, but for Putt Putt, is going right here. This is gonna be packed and busy. But we are in the Hamlin area right now, and the Hamlin area is right next to Horizon West. It's technically not Winter Garden, but it's in 34787. So it's a little confusing for people because people talk about like, oh, I wanna to move to Horizon West. Well, Hamlin's inside Horizon West, but true people from Winter Garden will say, oh, that's not Winter Garden because it's unincorporated Orange County. But don't get confused. There's a lot of cool schools here. There's plenty to shopping. So one of the reasons why Hamlin is so popular is all of the new shopping that's coming to the area. You have everything from Tijuana Flats to Ford's Garage, which is a great like, you know, craft beer, burger place. You've got Homestate Brewing. Homestate Brewing is an awesome like privately owned small business that also gets into the community in a really big way. If you go on and check them out on Instagram, they've got a whole run club every Monday night. And then at the end you get discount off of free craft beer. A lot of cool stuff coming to the Hamlin area that makes it an amazing amenity if you live in the area. So Hamlin is just at the tip of Horizon West, which when it's completed will be over 20,000 houses. There's already 14,000 houses that are completed here and all of them are pretty new construction. You have stuff that's been built early 2000s all the way up until right now. There's a lot of new communities coming on board. We've actually done videos on it. I can share that at the end of this one, uh, but you've got five or six new developments coming in from Flamingo Crossing up to Silver Leaf and a whole bunch of other ones that are still coming over the next few years. And so whether you're looking for something newer lakefront, new construction, townhome, there's gonna to be something for you. And it's actually really close to Disney. And so that's a lot of the reasons why people love this area. There's new schools going up everywhere. There's new options for retail and homes. It's a really cool place to call home. It's why my family and I, we call it home. And so let's kind of show you around the Horizon West area, give you a little taste of what's coming. So on the way down to Flamingo Crossing, kind of from Hamlin and through Horizon West, there's a whole bunch of new schools going in. There's a new elementary opening up, new middle school opening up, high school that opened up last year. And then over here is like the Mark, which is the Starbucks, the New York Beer Company. There's like 15 other little shops in this little area. And so it's cool to see this whole area, which used to be just a couple homes to see it finally coming together to fruition with commercial and retail and all the other things behind it. It's making it a really cool place to live. Horizon West is divided up into a bunch of different villages. So you've got Hamlin, you've got Lakeside, which is over in Windermere actually. And then all of these other kind of villages broken up here. And so this village, the town center area is Flamingo Crossing, which is owned by Disney. Disney owns all of the retail. They have thousands of cast member houses that are right here, kind of micro apartments. And then right down the road here on Western Way, they're gonna have their new affordable housing area. It's like 80 acres that they've set aside for lower income housing uh, in the area. So it'll be interesting to see how this area continues to grow out, but it's amazing. You think about it, like people work at Disney, they live here, they shop here. It's a cool place. I can actually see the back end entrance of 
of Disney from where we're at right now. So let's do this. Let's kind of show you what it would be and how long it actually takes to get from the Horizon West area into Disney. All right, so since so much of the new development in Horizon West is in this Ovation area, I think this is a good place to figure out how long does it take to get from the Ovation area to Disney. So let's try it out. All right, so this is how long it took to get to the back entrance of Disney. And off to my right, you've got Animal Kingdom and some other things. But let's see a little bit farther if you wanted to get really deep onto Disney property, how long that would take. I mean, Hungry Street Tacos, these are not for you, these are for me. Uh, listen, <laughs> if you are looking to move to the area or you're already here in Orlando and you're looking for something else to do, I think Winter Garden is a fantastic place to hang out and to live. My team and I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. If you're looking to buy or sell a house anywhere in Central Florida, reach out, info at posygroup.com. We'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers.